Hi everyone, this is Ida of Created to Create. Welcome back to my channel. If you are not 18 years or older, this video content is not intended for you. I'm going to try and change the angle of the light a little bit, guys. It's kind of cloudy here today and raining, so it's a little dark. Hopefully you can see okay. Today what I wanted to share with you was this Envelope Box Creator by Crafter's Companion. Now, we as crafters, and a lot of us, I know a lot of us do the same thing. When we create a card or any anytime we create a card or a tag or, or embellishments or anything, we add a lot of dimension to them. So we like to add the 3D flowers and all of that good stuff. Um, and the one thing that I have, I don't know. I want to say I have a problem with is I get lazy as far as trying to figure out how to create an envelope box and uh, I, I happen to stumble upon this product and I'm not being sponsored by anything this is a uh, purchase that I made and something that I used for the first time and I thought this is a game changer I really like this and I'll tell you where I got it from I picked it up from a uh, craft stash and I think it is, this is from the UK. The shipping wasn't too bad. It was $10. Eh. You know, but it wasn't that bad. And the only thing I bought with it was this because I really wanted to uh, create envelope boxes for my projects. Uh, I have bought pre-made uh, boxes that work, but it's really amazing, awesome when... You, you create a box that's not the standard size, and you can make a box for it. So that's one of the reasons why this sold me. And I haven't seen too many people share this or use it, but to me, this is a game changer. I know that We Are Memory Keepers has something similar, but this, guys, is so simple to make. I don't even have to think about it, and that's what I like about this. So I'm going to share with you the box that I created, and then I'll give you a little bit more information about... Uh, this product so you guys know that I shared with y'all that I created the um, the pop-up box for um, for a male for you know a masculine card for a birthday card it could be retirement it could be anything but the problem is that I love to add dimension to my projects so this when you close it it's not real thick but it's about a half inch thick so you know by, by the time everything closes up look at how pretty it looks even closed up well I wanted to create a box for this uh, project and I was waiting for my tool to come in and here's the box that I created for it look at how pretty it is it matches everything perfectly this is a paper from the design uh, from carnation craft everything uh, that I used to create this uh, box not the box but design it is a carnation craft dies and they do have designer paper that you can get so they have one that's called the lake and they have uh, not just the one that uh, coordinates with the matching die that you use the die to cut out. But they also give you free uh, papers to match, you know, that project or whatever you're creating or that theme. And so I printed out a couple of the free downloads for that. And this is what I created, the box. And I did it with the dark blue that I used to create the pop-up box. The same uh, lighter blue. It's not exactly the same, but it goes with that design paper. I added some carnation craft flowers, a little uh, canoe here, the sand, the log. There is the, the little pier right here and the lake. I also added the clouds on top. And this envelope is a half inch, has half inch gussets. It was so easy to create, guys. And I had an extra pair of the uh, the sneakers, so I just added them there. And I'll probably add a piece of Velcro to close it up so even when you open this up and you see the back side of the sneakers it's still because I did the double sided one you, it looks pretty on both sides but I love the way uh, this box came out and it's pretty sturdy because I only made it out of 65 pound weight cardstock but the blue pieces on here are 110 so by the time you start adding your layers it gets pretty sturdy and I'm going to share with you how the card it fits perfectly in here and it took me next to no time at all to create and I really love that Let me keep these flaps closed down but like I said I love the fact that it's perfect and even when they open it up it's gonna look pretty like that and all I need to do is add my little velcro dot there so that's what I created to house the the masculine card that I made um, and I want to share with you how I created it 
So I used the envelope box creator and this, what I love about this, um, that it has, first of all, it has a pretty good size images and, uh, you know, telling you step by step on how to do this. Another thing that I like about it, it is that it has... Um, like in centimeters, the different, uh, like we, in the U.S., we do inches. Somewhere else they do centimeters and all of that. So it's got the centimeters. It has, for the different sizes, but I'm going to flip on over to the inches. Okay, here is the inch guide. And I love, I have an envelope fold uh, creator, guys. Those, we are memory keepers ones. But at my age, even with my glasses, sometimes I have a hard time seeing the very small writing on them. What I love about this is that I get a chart that that I can actually see. So I love that. And like the one side, right here you see that this is in inches. And this is, on this side, it tells you right here, uh, the sizing grid is for flat envelopes. I hope you can see it. It tells you it's for flat envelopes. But on the other side, it tells you for this is for a half inch uh, deep gusset. And then you get the quarter of an inch depth gusset. And then you get the one inch. So you get, you can make them in different thicknesses where you can house depending on how thick your card is. So I'm going to make an envelope just so I can share it with you to show you how easy it is to do. So I'm going to turn it this way and I want to make a six by six envelope, uh, box envelope. So right here, it tells me that the sizing grids are for half inch deep gussets. Okay. Right here, it tells you it's color coded. So it's telling you what size of papers you can use to create uh, these on some you can use a 12 by 12 on the yellow it has to be bigger than a 12 by 12 and then some even a a4 or a letter size so that's just kind of you know giving you an easy way more or less what when you look at it, it's in the blue you know you need uh, something that's pretty wide at least a 12 by 12 so that's what that is for okay right here on this corner it tells you use position one and two okay so I want to make a six by six envelope. So what I do is I follow this grid to the six inch and then the one right here on the side to the six inch. Now I'm going to run my finger down and over and meet. So my fingers will, will meet up at the six coming down and across. So this is telling me that I need a 10 inch paper and that I'm going to score at the letter I and I. It looks, at first I thought it was a one, but it's letters. It's an I and I. Up here, it tells me that I'm going to use position one and two. And it sounds complicated, but it's not. Trust me, it's very easy. So I already cut out my paper. I know I got to score at I and I. So, but I'm only using position one and two. So I'm going to show you how that, how easy that is. So right here, I'm going to hold it up. You can see the letters. And then right here are the positions one, and one, two, three, and four. So it's got little notches, corner notches, where you're going to put your paper. So that's what it's talking about, the position and then the letters. That's it. So it, it said one and two. So I already cut out my paper that measures 10 by 10 inches. And I'm going to put it in the lower little uh, notch right here which is um, one and then I'm gonna come up here and I hope that I am in frame let me move you guys down a little bit more that way you guys can see where I'm scoring so I'm going to move to the letter I it's, it comes with the scoring tool as well so I'm going to score, but before I score, I'm going to share with you. See right here, this little notch right here is where it's going to go. That is position one. The one is right there. The two is there. The three is there. And the four is there. But on this other corner, you have the little notches as, as well. So make sure that you're butted up up against there, that the paper is butted up against there. So I'm going to go to I, and I'm going to score down. And then it says position one and two. So now I'm going to, that's one. Now I'm going to move it to the second tier or the second notch. And you see right there is number two. 
this is uh, in the corner it's lined up perfectly and I'm gonna go back again to the letter I because we're only doing I and I'm gonna score again I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna put it in position one and I'm after I rotate it and I'm gonna score again in I I'm gonna move it up to the number two position like this is so easy to use I'm going to put it in the uh, position 2, like that. And again, I'm going to go to I, and I'm going to score it. So there are my two score lines. I'm going to rotate again. Again, in the, in the first position, in the bottom notch, I. Move it up to the second position. Make sure it's nice and... Um, held in, you want to make sure it's snugged up against there. And I'm going to go back to I. And I'm going to do that all the way around this uh, square piece of paper. So there's one. And this is going to be our last uh, score. Score down. Move it to position two. This is so easy to use, guys. I don't even have to think. And score it. So there are my score lines, and I hope I can see it and see them because it's really uh, dim in my craft room. So now, as you can see, if I turn it this way, hopefully, I can't see what you're seeing, but the score lines are there. So I'm going to fold my score lines, and a lot of you might not know, and I didn't for a long time, but when you score the bumpy part that you uh, scored and it indented the bump, that's the side you're going to fold. So I'm going to fold it there. And the next one, so I'm going to fold all my score lines. I love this. Uh, I really love this tool. And usually, you know, I will only promote things that I really like. I'm not sponsored by any anybody. Everything that I share is something that I use and I really like it. Not because somebody sent it to me or anything like that. So there, I folded all these score lines. Now I'm going to take my scissors... And on, on one end, I'm going to cut off that little extra that sticks out in the corner. So I hope you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to cut it off there and on this side up until that score line. And I'm going to do the same right here. It's kind of hard to see. It's so dim in here. Hopefully I'll get it right though. So I cut those two little extra pieces off. On the bottom piece, we're not going to cut them off because that's what we're going to use to close our box. We're only going to cut off this little bitty triangle right here. It's like a half triangle. We're going to cut all the way down. And we're going to cut all the way down here as well. But we're, we, we're going to snip off that little triangle. So here's that little flap. There's that little flap. That's what you want it to look like. And a lot of times I'll angle in, and I probably will on this one. So I'm just going to snip down to the second score line. Do the same thing on this side. And then I'm going to cut that little triangle extra piece off. And I am going to uh, put a little notch in here so my box will close right. And I'm going to use score tape for this, guys. Usually I like using wet glue. But for the sake of the video, I'm going to use score tape because it's faster. I don't know about the lighting here, guys. I hope that you can see. I don't have a quarter inch score tape, so I have the one eighth. And I'm going to use that. And I'm just going to put a little, I'm going to cut a couple little pieces. Actually, I'm going to use the red line tape. If I can find the end to it. Here it is. Sometimes I gotta run my my nail so I can find it. So I'm gonna cut a couple pieces and I'm gonna add them to the little tabs. One there and just on that little tab. And here is the other little tab and I will add my, my red line tape. So that's all you're going to do. You're going to add tape. Oops. 
I forgot to cut off this piece. This little triangle that you have here, you're going to want to cut that off as well. So all you have left is this tab. And let's do the same thing over here. So there. Now I'm just going to remove the tape from here and close it up like you would a regular box. <laughs> this red line tape always kind of wants to uh, stick to me, the static. And so all you're going to do is line up the corners right there. And I'm going to hold it down. Come on. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And I have it real close so you guys can see that I'm lining up just the corner. There it is. So now all we have to do is close up these two and then close the flap. Look at that, guys. See how our envelope is coming together? Now to close it up, I'm going to add some score tape right down here on these flaps. Not the bottom one, but on the side ones. So, and I'm just going to put it close to the edge. Come on. Nope, I can't open it because I already closed it. I should have done it before. Okay, let's see. So I'm just going to add some uh, score tape right here on the very edge of the envelope. Oh, it's getting so dark here, guys. I hope you can see. So there's one. <laughs> I'm no good with score tape, you guys. So let's do the other one. I'm going to add it right to the very edge of the envelope and come straight down with it. There we go. And cut that off. Okay, when, when you do this, of course you have a gusset and it's hard. If you smash it down, it's not going to close right. So what I do is you can get a small book, you can get a little stack of cards or whatever you want. I'm going to use these pieces of foam that I have cut out for some cards and I'm just going to put it in here just so I can have something that I can press push down on my um, on the tape now the best way to line this up and make sure it's straight is by this straight edge here you want to line it up with that straight edge there so you have one on either side so that's what we're going to do we're going to I guess I'll do this one first I'm going to remove the tape from this one And that's going to, and I'm going to remove the tape from this one as well. Make sure you burnish it so when you take off the carrier, the tape doesn't come off with it. Okay, so there it is. So I'm going to line up the corner. Hope you can see see my my corner right here I'm gonna line that up and that's gonna tell me that it's straight press it down just a little bit and then I'm gonna go ahead and put this one down and do the same here make sure that this is lined up at the edge right here and it looks like it is oh, wait a minute and it looks like it is and you're gonna press it down I can see that I was a little off because you see the little piece of envelope there but that's okay when we add when we cover it up you'll cover that up but that is just how simple it is to make these envelopes look at that perfect there you have the half inch gusset it is perfect guys I really love I really love this tool it is so simple to use I didn't have to think about it I just followed you know the positions that it told me and scored on that one letter that it was telling me twice so anyway I highly recommend this um, tool if you can get it if not then you know it, it, it is what it is but I personally I'm one of those people that I do like 
no matter what I'm creating or no matter what I'm doing, I like to have the tools. I'm one of those people that likes to have the tools that make my crafting easier. So thanks for watching. I hope that this helps you and um, I hope everyone is having a good day. Bye.